Good day! I am John Virgilio Sicabildo, your student nurse for today from Our Lady of Fatima University, Quezon City. And today, I'm gonna demonstrate administration of total parenteral nutrition. Total parenteral nutrition, or TPN, is a method of feeding that bypasses the gastrointestinal tract, a special formula given through a vein which provides most of the nutrients that the body needs. This method is used when someone shouldn't or can't receive feedings or fluids by mouth. TPN is given to some of the sickest patients. Therefore, it is important to maintain sterility to avoid any bloodstream infections. This return demonstration provides instructions on how to safely and aseptically connect a TPN from a central line. And just like everything else, we're gonna wash our hands, provide for patient privacy, explain to the client what we are going to do, why is it necessary and how she can participate. Identify yourself and identify the patient using agency protocols or using the two patient identifiers. The key to maintaining a sterile technique is to be well prepared and have all the essential equipment gathered. Let's start by having a look at the equipment that we will need. A TPN bag, sterile gloves, IV set, dressing pack, doctor's order, sterile gauze, TPN labels, clean wipes, 10 ml syringe, normal saline, alcohol hand drab, and red cup. Review positions orders and compare to MAR and content label on TPN solution bag and for rate of infusion. Each component of the TPN solution must be verified with the physician's order. Hang the bag of TPN from the drip stand. Perform hand hygiene using soap and water or alcohol hand rub. Now, done your sterile gloves. Next, pour the saline into the sterile tray. Now, draw off the saline and set it aside. So, we must close the roller clamp and remove the cup from the spike of the set. Now get your alcohol wipe and sterile gauze and over to the end of the bag to clean the nozzle. Using a piece of sterile gauze, spike the tip of the set into the TPN bag. Then fill the drip chamber halfway. Turn on the roller clamp and prime the tubing set. And we must ensure that all the air is removed from the line. Turn off the roller clamp and clip the line to the set. Next, place a sterile drape to the side of the line. Using a forceps, pick up the line holding the line with one alcohol wipe and with the second alcohol wipe scrub the hub vigorously for 15 seconds and then discard the wipes pick up your syringe of saline and attach it to the line and clamp the line and draw back on the syringe to ensure you see a flush of blood. Using the push holes technique, flush the line. To prevent air from entering the line, the clamp should be closed while you are still pushing the syringe. 
Be careful, however, that the syringe does not disconnect and splash. Scrub the hub again for at least 15 seconds. Connect the TPN and unclamp the central line. Wrap the gauze around the line. And label it using the TPN labels. Dispose of all waste, remove your gloves, and once again perform hand hygiene. Open the pump, insert the infuser mat set. Close the pump, and open the roller clamp. Set the rate and volume to be infused, and finally press start. Monitor for signs and symptoms of complications related to TPN. Complete daily assessments and monitoring for patients on TPN as per agency policy. And lastly, document the procedure in the patient chart as per agency policy. And that was my video on how to do administration of total parenteral nutrition. Once again, I am John Virgilio C. Cabildo, your student nurse from Our Lady Academy University, Quezon City. Good day!